what is up fishing addicts on today's video i'll be showing you how to install your raymarine pro with navionics to your kayak well in this case i'll be installing it to my ascend um originally i had bought it and it came with uh, this transducer transducer uh which i had a little bit of problem uh installing it and one of my uh friends from uh, Addicted Kayak Anglers Group, uh, he suggested I contact Ray Marine and get the upgraded uh, version, which is which is this one. As you guys can see, I did uh, make a couple modifications, but I'll get to it in a minute. What uh, special about this one is the wire. It's in front, unlike this one. If you guys can see, it's on the back of it. So this one, when I install it, it's gonna be completely flush. Uh, I had originally bought the uh, Lorenz uh, scuffer hole mount, so I had to do a little bit of modification to it. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, just uh, I just cut up a, a plastic uh, bottle from my. Uh, uh, Type pot challenge. That's right, I did the type pot challenge. I'll link the video down in the description. It's a cool video. And uh, I cut off the bottle for uh, durable plastic uh, and uh, run a boat through it. Originally, I don't know if you guys can see this, this uh, Lorenz mount, this one right here. It's a perfect fit for the uh, original transducer but uh, like I said it was uh, like I said it was sticking out about uh, two fingers a finger and a half and uh, it got me worried when I fish uh, shallow water that I'll scrape it and whatnot and Sean uh, from my kayak group he suggested I cut co I contact uh, Ray Marine and they'll send you another transducer for free and I went to their website, I looked it up, uh, they did not have that model listed on their website. So I did email them. Uh, they emailed them back after three days or something like that. It took a couple of days for them to uh, email me back. And uh, all I had to do was send them my address and they emailed me one for free. So two thumbs up for Ray Marine. Good looking out guys. I, real good customer service. Um, not that I had any issues with my uh, garment, but I wanted uh, Navionics and uh, whatnot, and a little bit uh, wider screen, which uh, I got. I guess uh, I got what I asked for, and I am pretty happy with it. I am learning; it's not as easy as uh, fishing with the Garmin Striker Four, but uh, other than that, I bought the uh, Hobby. Uh, hull kit uh, to install so I'm pretty much uh, set up and uh, just gonna install it with you guys watching so give me a couple of seconds let me set up everything and we'll get to it let me just put it this way if you guys can see get the Transducer out of the way, and uh, I had already ran it through. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just uh, set up the transducer, and I will show you guys uh, how I did it. So stay tuned, and keep you guys posted.
comma. What happened was I cut it a couple of times. Now it's hard for me to put it on. Even though I removed it without breaking. And I don't want to cross thread it because it's plastic. There we go. Take some time. I wouldn't rush this job. You wanna make it perfect as possible. Just a little bit more to go. I think I got it. Uh, I think I got it where I want it to be. So, if you guys look, this one sticks out way more than where it should be, but it's plastic, so don't worry. Um, you guys can always cut it. And if you break it during installation, don't feel bad. Uh, you can always go to Home Depot or any hardware store and get uh, one of these. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just grab my wire cutters that I was using a few minutes ago. And uh, just let's do a little snip. I think that's tight enough. Okay, so this is set. Let's see how it looks like in the bottom. If you guys can see this, but it's uh, pretty flush. To the kayak. I don't know how much you guys can see from this, but uh, I have about a couple of inches. As you guys can see my finger. I'm holding my arm straight and it's not touching it so it's pretty cool all right let's uh, install this See, I'm gonna need both hands on this one never mind boom done maybe I could have tightened it a little bit more but uh it's all right now to do the hobby uh, whole throw kit I already have uh, put one of the rings on uh, just to save time and uh, so let's get to it let's pull it out And also guys, I have uh, already put the ring through, uh, through the wire. So all I have to do is just put this on and uh, the hobby, uh, whole throw kit does come with a couple adapters. So make sure to pick the right one. Uh, look at all the adapters that uh, it comes with. I did the mistake of not looking and uh, it took me a couple more minutes than what it should so let's see okay 
and I sit down, there is no rush. You, you, all you have to do is just take your time. This is a very, very delicate procedure. All right, guys, we are back. So what I've done is, sorry for the camera angle. So what I've done is, I installed a Lawrence mount, uh, scuffer mount kit, hobby hole through kit on both ends. I uh, already hooked it up to the power. It just took me a couple more minutes uh, to figure out the, uh, the new uh, transducer uh, comes with the adapter which was kind of iffy to install, but uh, I managed it. Like I said, it just took me a couple more minutes. What I've done is, this is the adapter kit. It comes with it to mount it on the uh, fish finder. So let's see. And also I did disconnect uh, this one. So, I will not be connecting to it and I just uh, wired it back in there it's pretty cool that uh, uh, the whole kit uh, comes that you can uh, uh, that you can uh, disconnect it uh, from the main power uh, main connectors or whatnot so let's uh, give it a try selected M Voila. There she goes. All I have to do is uh, take it on the water. See how it's going to work out. Hopefully, I don't have any issues with it. It takes, it does take a uh, quite a bit time to load at the meantime like I said it's a pretty clean setup even though the kayak is not clean right now uh, just have to clean it up before I take it and all the click is okay and uh, voila of course we're not in the water it's not gonna give us any reading I believe it's still reading the air temperature 50 degrees which is pretty cool and the whole reason I got this one is for let's see no not that go back menu see. and there it's loading the map Maybe it's a bit confused. Well, this was probably when I was at uh, Le Mont Quarry. Yeah, it's reading Le Mont Quarry right now. I'm pretty sure once I take it in the water, it will reconnect itself. But uh, I said I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys on the wall.